So we're about to attempt a thing. So I was trying to test this with a different game and I had no success with it, but I think that was due to some of the other libraries involved with it or DLLs. So it's running a pr game, a non-Steam game in Proton. So first thing we're gonna do is of course go to the internet and let me see where my thing was. I was looking at. So we want to go to, some of you might be starting to recognize what's going on here. Okay, so here's our victim, I mean, um, game we're looking at. <clears throat> I've showed it off in Lutris before, but I wanted to set it up on the Steam Deck, and so our one option is going to be, oh, Lutris. Our other one is basically this one. So, <clears throat> just got to give it a second to download. Okay, so now that it's done downloading, we can merely go to our... I've got a keyboard plugged in this time, so did that while we were off. <clears throat> this is the previous game I was trying, so yeah. Um, we're going to go to Downloads, and we're going to open BBPSX, and we're going to go back to Home, and then go find our Games folder. And what I think we want to do is create a new folder. And call it okay. Then we're going to go into it and then create another new folder. Huh. Just to make sure that we have it, and I think we can possibly get away with disconnecting it, but I won't just yet. Okay. So here's the game, and then all we do, so we need to go in, we can close out this one. We need to go into Steam and our library. So we're going to make sure that we copy the location here. And we're going to go to Add Game, non Steam Game, and then Browse to. Why do make me do this game? So there isn't a dot desktop that we can take advantage of, so we do have to go into here. Where where's our Oh wait, no. The freak. This is new on me. So we're going to take this, cut. and paste, and we're going to browse, we're going to cancel and cancel, 
on Steam game, browse. Oh, trying to show dot desktop files. We're going to go to all files. Should show us our folders though. BBPSX.exe. Okay, and then let us double check that we have properties, compatibility. So I think Proton should work okay with it. We'll go to Proton 6.3 just for fun. And then we play it. Okay, sweet. Okay. <clears throat> and then we just have to do some renaming properties. Then we need to call it okay and i believe that's everything let me just take that off just for fun okay and then i think we should be able to yes let's see do we have any included icons so I added um, the wine folder just in case I had to do um, Lutris because it'll ask for a wine prefix of where to put that. Um, our other option, so if we go back to, so we can go to Steam, select our icon that we want to use. Got to go Downloads. Are you, are you kidding me? All files. <laughs> Close enough. Set custom background. Downloads. Open. And then once we go back into, I'll unplug my keyboard because it's going to get in the way for like 2 million seconds. And we go back into gaming mode. And I off centered my deck again. Other way to doing that, keep it in the same place. And then we just have to go in, home, wait, wrong place. I don't know if that works as cover art though, when otherwise. That is wonderful.
There we go. Okay, so if you turn on full screen, it'll, yeah. So yeah, that's how you set up Bloodborne PSX. Um, make sure you do enable full screen so that you do get it back normal. Um, default. So yeah, um, do that and that's how you set it up. A few moments later. Okay, small update. Um, did edit a layout for Bloodborne PSX. Um, I misspelled it, so it says Boodborne. That's okay. Um, I, oh, I forgot to add the mode shift to it, but um, I'll add a mode shift for to it for the stick here. But other than that, it's basically pretty standard. You, the default has joystick for looking, just like the triggers. So you've got it to the side. That's all you get out of it. There's no up or down, because that's all Bloodborne PSX does. And other than that, it's basically the same other than controller settings, edit... It was joysticks, mode shift, mode shift button. I want to put that on. Right grip. And then I go to buttons, of course. R okay, yep, that does a thing. So R5 will mode shift your stuff, and then yeah. So for the cheat that messes with the time with the joystick here, it'll turn it into a right joystick so that you can mess with time if you have that cheat enabled. But yeah, that's the Bloodborne layout that I've just barely set up. So, yeah, it'll be tacked on at the end. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Algorithm really seems to like that, and it actually helps it get directly out to more people. And you can even join the chat and interact when I'm not online or what have you in Discord, Gilded, XMPP, and check out my my streaming stuff links are all in the description places and i will see you guys later